Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Bim, I want to talk to you a little bit about Senate Bill 258, which is the Ruby Mountain Protection Act. So help me understand how the Forest Service says one day that oil and gas leasing is not an appropriate activity there, but then the next day you oppose a bill that says oil and gas leasing in that same area is not an appropriate activity. Uh, yes, ma'am. So um, we conducted the analysis on, as you mentioned, 54,000 acres of the Ranger District. Uh, that proposed action was brought to us uh, by the BLM for, from an expression of interest from a member of the public. So that's how we, we, do, we did our analysis based on that specific um, uh, proposal. So I guess what we're saying in our uh, testimony is that we would use a similar proposal or similar process, environmental analysis or assessment, to uh, analyze a, a subsequent proposal. So right, but you've already determined that it, oil and gas leasing is not appropriate there. In fact... Um, uh, you issued a press release saying the analysis revealed unfavorable geologic conditions in the area, meaning there's little to no potential of oil and gas resources in the area. So why not make it permanent? Why, why go through this process again? Because literally, uh, this act and this legislation makes it permanent, correct? Correct. And what you are doing doesn't necessarily make it permanent. You're going to have to go through the process all over again if a request is made to look into oil and gas, correct? Yes, that's correct. And you're going to have to spend taxpayer funds to do that, correct? Correct. Right, so there's a difference between, this isn't unnecessary, Bill, this is necessary because it makes it permanent what you have actually already determined, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I, I guess that's why I'm confused. Instead of coming in here either supporting it or remaining neutral, mm -hmm. why are you coming in and saying it's unnecessary? Because that just doesn't make sense uh, to me, and I, I guess I'm more concerned about um, this administration particularly paying, playing politics with this instead of doing the right thing. Uh, and again, uh, this is supported by Nevadans. It is supported by uh, outdoorsmen and recreational uh, folks. It is, it is a benefit to the economy. It is something that your, even your Forest Service and administrator on the ground has said. That's why you ruled oil and gas leasing is not appropriate. Let me ask you this. The legislation that is before you does not prohibit mineral development, correct? Your legislation? Well, correct. Well, it, it withdraws the land from mineral development. For oil and gas leasing. Oh, well, yes, ma'am. But it doesn't prohibit mineral development if somebody decides they want to look into that, correct? Yes. Right. So, so the idea that I'm hearing that somehow this also prohibits mineral development, that's an incorrect statement that I've heard today, correct? It is incorrect. I believe that's true. Too yeah. many corrects for you. Yep. Yeah. So uh, let me just verify, I, I just say this. The Act only talks about oil and gas leasing. Okay and it is the decision that you have already determined. It makes it permanent. What you are doing does not make it permanent. In fact, you would waste more taxpayer dollars if you were asked uh, uh, to review it and have to look at the same area again, correct? The yeah, the department believes we have the administrative tools to analyze a future proposal. That's, that's where the department's... Which is unnecessary in this case. You've made a determination. This makes it permanent, and that's all I'm asking for. Thank you. I understand. 